In this lecture, we are going to learn how Primavera P6 calculates earned value cost and planned value cost. This lecture is really really important and needs good attention to understand. When the project is at start and there is no progress recorded on the project, the schedule percentage complete is 0% and the performance percentage complete is 0%. I have pulled out all these columns from the columns customize menu which you can do the earned value cost and the planned value cost and budgeted completion. I have taken these three columns from the earned value tab in the customized column here. Similarly, I have pulled out baseline project start because before starting earned value calculations, we must have assigned a baseline to our project because our schedule percentage complete is calculated from the baseline only. While as the performance percentage complete is calculated from the update percentage of an activity. For example, if an activity is 20% complete, then its percent performance percentage complete will be 20%. And schedule percentage complete depends upon the baseline start of an activity. We'll understand this through an example. But just to remind you that when we start our project or when we have assigned the project a baseline and no progress is yet recorded on the project, your schedule percentage complete should be zero and your baseline performance percentage complete should be zero as well. So once the project progresses, you can compare schedule percentage complete and performance percentage complete. And if these two are same, that means your project is on time. If these two are different, that means your project is either ahead of schedule or behind schedule, which we are going to understand in this example. If you have a look at this activity, civil drawings preparation, its baseline start is 15th of May 2016. It has an original duration of 10 days and it has a resource assigned to it, Mary, who works 180 hours on this project. 180 hours of Mary cost us 22,500 for completion of this project, sorry, for completion of this activity. So the budgeted completion of this activity is 22,500. Let's say now our project has started and I'm going to record progress after five days of progress. Let's say my current data date is 15. So if we are on 20th of May and I have to update my progress, I'll go to the stats option. I'll click start here and I'll put my activity completion as 50%. For example, if after five days, my activity civil drawings preparation is 50% complete, I'll write here 50% complete and I'll check this box, the start date. Now you can see that this activity shows that its performance percentage complete is 50% and the earned value is 11,250, which is actually the 50% of the budgeted completion. So the earned value cost is calculated by multiplying budgeted completion with the performance percentage complete. But the schedule percentage complete is still showing 0% because I have not scheduled this project with a new data date. Now let's schedule this project and let's assume 5 days have elapsed out of 10 and I'll select the data date as 20th of May. Once I select this and I click schedule, you can see here. Now the schedule percentage complete also says 50% which means 5 days out of 10 have elapsed and my schedule percentage complete is equal to my per performance percentage complete. So, which means that this activity is going according to the baseline and its progress is going properly. Now, let's assume if the same activity had instead of 50% completion after 5 days, it had only 30% completion. And once I schedule it, now you can see here that my performance percentage complete is 30% while as my schedule percentage complete is 50%, which means that according to schedule, according to the baseline schedule, my this activity should have progressed 50% while as it has only progressed 30%. So this activity is behind schedule. Now you can understand that the earned value cost is calculated by multiplying this 30% with the budgeted completion of 22,500, which gives us 6,750. Which means that we should have actually earned, we had planned that this activity should have finished 50% by now and 11,250 should have been our planned value cost, but our earned value is only 6,750. That means we are behind the schedule. Similarly, once you go on updating activities, you can see that the topmost level of WBS, the project level here, the schedule percentage complete and performance percentage complete will get updated automatically from its child WBS. So if we look at this schedule at this time, we'll see that schedule percentage complete says it should have been completed 0.19% or let's say 0.2%, but our performance is only 0.06%, which tells me that my project is behind the schedule. This is how Primavera actually calculates our earned value cost, planned value cost and 
schedule percentage complete and performance percentage complete. So in order to understand and calculate earned value calculations, we must have assigned resources to the project and we must have a budgeted completion. Also, we must have assigned a baseline because the schedule percentage complete is calculated from the baseline date.